I think if the if there was a nerd snipe bingo card, like if we're playing bingo for like how you would nerd snipe somebody, and you had like you know prolific open source maintainer who builds unicorn business and retires, and then comes back to reinvent a terminal, and then chooses Zig as a programming language. Like these are all <laughs> things where it's like I know why there's twenty five thousand people in that Discord. Like you have all of the different ingredients which is really awesome. And that's just a way of setting up a question about Zig. Like, why did you go that route? Because that's a, yeah, that's an interesting choice, interesting language and a, a burgeoning one. Yeah. You, you could, uh, I, I, you could find a tweet I did, I think end of 2021, very early 2022, where I talked about how I was interested in Zig, but I had no time to, to use it. And it was always in the back of my mind of this interesting programming language. And I think as important background to me, I, I was a, professional C paid C programmer for a year or two of my life, somewhere between a year and two years of my life. And, and I like low level system stuff. I actually like C. Uh, and so I wanted to, it was very, HashiCorp was very close to getting all software written in C, by the way, that's very, it was very close. It was between C and go and go one, but it was very close to C. And um, I wanted to, to get back to systems programming, but I, I, I recognize the warts that C had, and I was looking for a better C. And Zig to me always felt like that. And years into using Zig, I feel the exact same way. I feel better about it. I love it brings me joy every day to write Zig. And and so that's really it. Um, you know, later on I learned about the community. I like the community, the um sort of the 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 founder of the Zig programming language, Andrew, really We've, we've now hung out in person multiple times, really awesome, like kind person. Um, and his technical points of view are fantastic. And, and so everything sort of came together where I'm just having a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that, and that's sort of how it, how it goes. Did you try go? Did you try rust? Did you go straight to Zig or did you start writing it in C at first and then switch to Zig? How did it play out? I, I knew go wouldn't be a choice because my, I knew I wanted to do something that really I owned every single allocation and every single instruction that would ever be run and having a active runtime that was running was never going to be and a garbage collector was never going to be an option. Um, the real plausible option there was rust. And uh, I didn't try it with the terminal because by then I had already had enough experience with rust that I knew I didn't want to write rust every day. Um, you know, the way I describe it is I philosophically and as a technical achievement, I have absolutely nothing but respect and I'm impressed by Rust. I think it's very impressive. Um, but as a personal basis, uh, it's very superficial. I just, when I write and read Rust, I'm not having fun and I want to have fun. And I, and part of the joy is writing the code and, you know, it, it's very much a stylistic choice. I, I, I hate to put it in that perspective because I think engineers want some sort of concrete objective reason of right. why one versus another Which is better. better? It's really a vanilla versus strawberry ice cream flavor sort of thing for me. It's they're both great. They both are edible, <laughs> you know, but I, but I choose one over the other. And um, mm -hmm. that's that's really what it came down to for me.